الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. Of the means for the for a believer to qualify to enter Jannah, may Allah subhanahu wa taala not cause any one of us to experience this. But if it happens, then it's an opportunity for one to earn a place for themselves in Jannah. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. من احتسب ثلاثة من صلبه دخل الجنة نسأل الله عفوه وعافيته نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يحفظ أبناءنا وبناتنا وأن لا يفجعنا في أحد منهم نسأل الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يحفظهم So the Prophet ﷺ said Whoever loses three of his, of his own children and expects his reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whoever endures the loss of three of his own children and expects his or her reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that person will enter Jannah. So a woman from the crowd said, Wathnan, how about two, Rasulullah? Perhaps she was someone that lost two. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Wathnan. And two as well. In another narration, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "If a believer loses his or her child and endures the loss of that child, and ask Allah subhanahu wa taala for the reward in their loss, then Allah subhanahu wa taala will grant them jannah." The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said these words and he led by example Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He lost all of his sons before they reached the, the age of two or three. He lost all of his daughters or three of his daughters in his lifetime Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after they reached their adulthood. And he buried a total of six with his own hands. And even the one child that was survived by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that lived after him, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was told about her death. And he told her that she will die soon after him. And within six months, Fatima radiallahu anha wa as well died. So when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says these words, and, and he gives us really this bishara, glad tidings, He's consoling us, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Not only in his words, but also in his own, in his own example, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in his own life. It's not a difficult, it's not a, an easy topic to talk, to talk about, especially for someone who, uh, you know, experienced the loss of a child. So for those of you who experienced it, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bring comfort to your hearts. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you and your loved ones Jannatul Firdaus. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to make you amongst those who will be of the recipients of this prophetic promise. And before I leave, taking advantage of this uh, number of people that we have here, um, I wanted to share with you one thing. We're fasting now. We're fasting because it's mandatory. However, hopefully, inshallah ta'ala, we'll pick on one or two of the prophetic, you know, the, the recommended fasts that the Prophet ﷺ recommended, besides the six of Shawwal, and maintain doing voluntary fast. Because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam once said to the companions, Man asbaha minkum al-yawma sa'ima, qala Abu Bakr, ana ya Rasulullah. He said, who today woke up fasting? It was a voluntary fast. So Abu Bakr said, I happen to, to be fasting today, Messenger of Allah. Qala faman tabi'a minkum janaza. Who followed a funeral procession today? Abu Bakr said, I did. He was on his way, I mean, 
the day hasn't started. This, we're talking about early in the morning. On his way, he saw Janazah. He followed the Janazah to Baqiya. After they buried the Janazah, he came to the Masjid of the Prophet. Qala Abu Bakr, Ana. Qala, Faman Ata'ama Minkum al Yawma Miskina. So, who of you today fed a hungry, poor person? Abu Bakr said, I did Messenger of Allah. He had something with him. He saw someone who was starving. He served that person, that person, his breakfast. Qala Abu Bakr, Ana. Abu Bakr said, I did Messenger of Allah. Qala, Faman Ata'ama Minkum al Yawma Maridan. Who of you today was able to visit with a sick person? Checked on a sick person. And Abu Bakr said, I did message of Allah. So the Prophet said, No person does these four things except that will enter Jannah. And I just wanted to say this, and I want to urge our healthcare professionals, right? doctors and nurses and people who are doing their rotations, right? When you, when you check on your patients, right, bring that niya, right, that intention that you're visiting someone who's sick and comfort them, you know, besides just acting like a doctor, try to act like an angel as well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.